Welcome everybody. So this tutorial is about the digital logic analyzer that we are going to use in some of our experiments. And this is a USB logic analyzer, which is 24 megahertz, and it has got eight channels. So uh, when we will be using this logic analyzer, it has got three uh, components. One is the USB cable, which will connect to the uh, laptop or desktop. Uh, and it's basically uh, to connect it to the uh, graphical user interface which pulse with. Apart from that, we have these colored wires which are connected to the channels and these wires are in turn connected to the output or wherever you want to uh, analyze the uh, pulses. And uh, to begin with, we'll be doing the simple experiment where on the Spotec Labrador, I will set the uh, signal generator channels 1 and channel 2 uh, with uh, scatter waves. We'll set the frequency and the amplitude. And instead of uh, visualizing them on the oscilloscope of the Labrador, we will be visualizing them on the uh, pulse wave. So we'll be connecting the channel 1 and channel 0 to the signal generator channel 2 and channel 1. And uh, uh, th th that's it. So this is going to be the way, the way we connect uh, these wires uh, to the digital logic analyzer and the way we try to analyze these pulses, the procedure is going to be same. Uh, so instead of connecting them to the signal generator channels, we will be connecting them in our experiments on the breadboard uh, to, uh, to various uh, points in the breadboard which are connected to different logic. Now, uh, before working on this, we need to install the PulseWave software. And for installing that, you need to visit this website. And um, we will be providing these links in the documentation. Uh, and once we are on this web page, you need to select the setup, the USB logic analyzer with PulseWave. And this will, uh, this web page gives us all the links to different um, setup files, uh, different um, drivers uh, that we might need. Now to install the Pulse view, you need to click the Sigrox download page, and here you can install the Pulse view. Now, uh, at times, Pulse view may not work. Uh, it's uh, more likely that you have not, you don't have the necessary drivers. So for that, you will click on this link, and it will redirect you to these uh, drivers. So once uh, that's done, we are good to go. We'll select the signal generator to scare wave and another to scare wave. We'll keep the frequency as it is, one kilohertz. Uh, let's change the amplitude to one to let's say four for both these four. Now the reason you are not able to see anything on the see a scare wave on the display is because we have not I have not connected the signal generator to the oscilloscope of the Asporic Labrador. Uh, so instead what I will do is I will connect the signal generator to the channel 1 and channel 0. Now I have connected the red and brown wire to channel 0 and channel 1 of the uh, digital logic analyzer and those will be connected and those will be connecting to the signal generator of the asphotic collaborator so as i'm done with that let's try to visualize these on the pulse wave
this is how the pulse wave uh, would look like. Uh, you do not see anything on the screen. The reason is because I have not initiated the process for that. You need to press on the run. And when you press on the run, this is actually uh, happening in the real time. These are the pulse waves. Uh, uh, these are the uh, signals that you are able to visualize on the digital logic analyzer pulse wave graphical user interface. And this is happening in real time. So you can see here the this is moving towards left. This is because more and more uh, pulses are getting displayed on the screen and we can stop it at any time. For that, we need to press stop. And as I said, we had connected uh, the digital logic analyzer channel zero and channel one to the signal generator uh, one and signal generator two of the export a collaborator so that's how uh, you can use the digital logic analyzer the process is same so instead of connecting them to the signal generator you might uh, be asked or you might be required to connect those to the uh, output of any gate uh, in the experiment so this is how we have made the connections for the digital logic analyzer at first, we had connected the USB to the uh, USB cable to the logic analyzer, and um, once uh, we had set the, once we were able to set the uh, SPOTA collaborator and uh, set the uh, signal uh, generator uh, channel one and channel two. Well, we had kept the uh, waveform as square for both these channels and frequency to one kilohertz and amplitude to four volts and offset to zero volt uh, once we're able to do that uh, we were then ready to connect the wires uh, th these colored wires red and brown to the channel zero and channel one of the logic analyzer and uh, connect those with the signal generator uh, channel one and channel two so uh, we were able to see the th those pulses on the pulse wave uh, so let me again display that So you can see here and let's press on the run and you will be able to see that this is happening in real time because this it is crawling towards left so which means more and more pulses are getting added with each second or with each instance and uh, to stop this we will press on the stop and uh, we can then save these files for future use. So that was all. Uh, thank you.